Do you hit a work goal and immediately move on to the next one? Are you driven to succeed, but find yourself unfulfilled no matter how much success you reach? Is your overworking making you feel bitter and resentful as it takes a toll on your personal life? As a high performer, you push yourself hard at work and you get things done. You set goals and you move quickly on to the next one. Have you stopped and asked yourself what you're trying to prove to yourself and others through work? Most of my clients didn't until they realized that how they were working was no longer sustainable and they were on a fast path to burnout. What I found through my decades working with high performers is that this drive may have gotten you to the level of success that you have today, but it's no longer working. Now it's pushing you on an endless journey of overworking and overachieving without enjoying the success that you've created. This leads you to feeling exhausted, overwhelmed, and stuck in a vicious cycle that feels pointless at this point in your life. I mean, you are successful. You just don't feel like you are. It's time for something new. It's time to feel successful and enjoy this amazing life that you've created. My name is Lisa. I'm a spiritual medium and energy strategist, and I help high performers that are on a fast path to burnout become balanced high performers. I discovered years ago that what is driving you to your breaking point is your success wound. So what is your success wound? Your success wound is your energetic drive for more. No matter how much money and success are in your life, it's not enough. It keeps you from enjoying your life and drives you to continually achieve. It's your constant push and drive for more, 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 more. It leaves you feeling unfulfilled and stuck in a vicious cycle that will lead you to burnout if left in charge. So where did your success wound come from? It starts in your childhood. You either came in with this belief and it makes no sense to anyone that knows you, or you learned it from families, teachers, experiences, and friends when you were little, and you're still carrying that with you today. This is why I call it a wound. It's a deep energetic drive that is driving you to prove yourself. So let's be clear, your success wound had a purpose. It did drive you and it got you to where you are today. But now your success wound is preventing you from enjoying all of the success that you've created. The continual drive for more is no longer exciting. Instead, it's keeping you from having a life outside of work. And this is the problem. So what is the energy of your success wound? So remember, your success wound is what drives you. The question is, what is it driving you personally to prove at work? I've discovered in all my work with high performers that you're proving at least one of three things. I am worthy, I am enough, I am love. It can be one, two, or any combination of these three things. <laughs> and typically it's two of these things. Typically it's I am worthy and I am enough. I have a high performing client that reached seven figures in her business last year for the first time in her career. Her response, I thought I would hit this milestone and feel like I did it. I made it and I don't. My response, you won't feel successful when your success wound is still in charge. And it was. We since then created a way for her to have her work life balance and she has the tools to continue to heal layers of her success wound. Remember, this is a deep wound. It's been driving you for a long time. So there's many layers to it. So what is your success wound driving you to prove at work? So the training I teach on the success wound is at a minimum of an hour to help you get to the root of what's driving you. In my programs, we spend time healing it, not hours, months, if not years. It isn't going to be an automatic release. It's deep. It's been in charge for decades. It's how you operate. It's your patterns. It's how you work. It's ingrained in your energy and your responses and your relationships and your goals and your dreams. It's why you overachieve and it impacts every single area of your life. So we obviously don't have time here to heal all of that, but ask yourself, what is driving you to do more? What is driving you to make more, to achieve more? And I'll also give you a video to do some energy work to start to heal it. So how are you proving that you're enough in your work? How are you proving that you're worthy in your work? How are you proving that you are love in your work? 
And then who told you that you weren't these things? That you had to do more or be more or prove more? Where does this come from for you? And then how long have you been doing it? A long time. Do you still want to do it? Hopefully the answer is no. And who else do you know that overachieves? And to help you look at your situation more, object more objectively, what does their life look like right now? That's always a great way to get clarity on what you want to do more or less of in your life. Do you want your life to be like this other person you know that overachieves? How are their relationships? How are their vacations? How are their weekends? Do you want your life to be like theirs? And honest, and honest truthfully, honest truthfully, answer truthfully. In your success wound, it started in your childhood. Some of you came in with these beliefs. Regardless of how you're started, it's layered into your energy and it comes out as overachieving high performer. And if you stay on this course, it is going to lead you to your breaking point. So once you know what you're proving, you can recognize it and then pivot in the moment. So what does your success win look like at work? Are you working more than you should? Are you always checking emails after work hours, scheduling meetings when you shouldn't be? How does it affect your personal life? Do you not have time and energy to do the things that you're supposed to do with your partner, with family, or with friends? And what do you want to do differently? These are all questions that I really want you to, you know, go back and listen to, write the answers down, and get really deep. And then if you like this video, let me know by liking it and I invite you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video released. And then for next videos to watch, as promised, I recommend energy clearing, heal your success wound. So just a reminder that hitting your breaking point is never a badge of honor. There is no reward for burnout. You are replaceable at work, but not with your partner or your kids or whatever family you do have. If you're ready to work on healing your success wound, I'll put a link in the comments below where you can book a call to learn more about joining one of my programs. Happy healing.